On December 8, 2021, the Deputy General Manager of the China Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation and a director of the company was reportedly investigated on suspicion of serious violations of the law and party discipline. In an official note, the man was said to have voluntarily turned himself in. However, it didn't mention what he voluntarily surrendered for, but only that he was suspected of serious violations of discipline and law. This has become a hot search online in mainland China. Chinese people are wondering, what mistake has the printer of renminbi made? According to an overseas tweet, the trillions of counterfeit bills in the Chinese market are authentic, printed by the China Banknote Printing Corporation. Everything is real, including serial numbers. That is to say, the same number is printed on two bills, one for the Chinese Ministry of Finance and the other controlled by the general manager, who gives it to relatives of the Zheng Menhai family, who together share the trillions of dollars. It's equivalent to China issuing two sets of identical RMBs, amounting to several trillion. If this is true, corruption in the top echelons of the Communist Party has risen to a new level, where one can get money directly from the National Mint. According to the current exchange rate, 1 yuan of RMB is equal to 0.16 US dollars. In other words, 640 million RMB equals 100 million US dollars. This is for your reference, as the latter part of the video involves a lot of numbers. Corrupt officials in China have a habit of storing cash, the Chinese media reported that cash was the preferred choice for most officials to keep the proceeds of corruption accounting for 61.3% of the sample. China has established a system for cash management and reporting large quantities of money. According to the People's Bank of China, when a single deposit reaches or exceeds 10,000 RMB in cash, banks are required to verify the identity of the depositor. In 2018, 1.2 billion RMB in cash, weighing up to three tons, was confiscated from the home of the former chairman of China, Huarong Asset Management. China Banknote Printing Corporation is printing duplicate units of renminbi, which is undoubtedly an extremely absurd claim according to Chinese officials. But surprisingly, the tweet and the related news were reposted to some websites in China, and they weren't deleted despite China's strict censorship. The China Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation, CBPM, hasn't been seen to refute the rumors either. The official Chinese media listed the resume of Chen Yaoming in detail. The headlines of many articles stated that Chen had been the deputy general manager of CBPM for more than 20 years. It's also reported that Chen's superior, He Lin, the 10-year general manager of CBPM, was investigated by China's state authority in July 2021. CBPM is a national legal tender printing organization directly under the Central Bank of China. It's mainly engaged in the following businesses, renminbi printing and minting, research and development and production of bank credit cards, special machinery for money printing and minting, and manufacturing of banking machines. It's also responsible for printing special value-added tax invoices and marketable securities. This company has 23 large and medium-sized enterprises, including seven banknote printing companies, three minting companies, two banknote paper production companies, three special anti-counterfeiting units, special inks, engraving and plate-making companies, and seven market-oriented companies. It's evident that the company that Chen Yaoming had worked for is very sensitive. The evasion by the government concerning the reasons why Chen and his old boss were investigated has made Chinese people even more apprehensive. Chinese people have left comments like, the fewer words reported, the more serious the matter, and are the illegal acts the kind we have imagined? This is so serious that they take money directly to their homes. Chinese people are justifiably distrustful of all government-linked organizations, especially when it comes to money. See? Now national banks don't do business like normal people anymore. See? It will be okay if we actually spend the money. The problem is, we never spend the money. How many times I've come to the bank but can't have this problem solved? Look, this is the national bank. 
It should be shut down now. They're doing things that normal people won't do. If we spent this money or have done some transactions here, I might understand it. But there is none of that. The money was taken from my bank account directly. Now there is no security for average people anymore. This is the industrial and commercial bank of China. Stay calm. How many times have I been here and can't have the problem rectified? I can't stay calm anymore. All the people of China should see this. The Industrial and Commercial Bank of China is a national bank, and it takes money from people's accounts directly. Previously, Chinese people's speculation centered on counterfeit currency. China's Taishin News quoted a source close to the central bank of the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, as saying that Chen's boss, He Lin, may have been involved in corruption and procurement during his tenure as general manager of the company. The private procurement of money printing and minting equipment could leave loopholes for the manufacture of counterfeit money. In China, counterfeit currency is proliferating with a great degree of sophistication. Is it related to the procurement of equipment from the China Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation? After the news broke that Chen Yaoming had turned himself in for investigation, the direction of public discussion began to shift. People began to suspect the existence of duplicate, genuine banknotes and whether the illegal behavior of the National Mint was aggravating China's inflation. The more money the government prints, the less valuable the money is in the hands of the general public. On December 6, 2021, China's central bank announced that on December 15th it would reduce the overall interest rate by 0.5 percentage points, releasing 1.2 trillion RMB. Not many people may believe the official Chinese narrative. What is closer to the truth is that the state treasury is running out of money and is facing various crises. It needs to print more money. In China, it's becoming increasingly hard to take out large deposits. Banks create all kinds of obstacles when people try to withdraw money. This young man deposited about 22,000 US dollars worth of renminbi and wasn't able to withdraw it. This old man was asked to verify his identity when he was withdrawing money from the bank. After he produced his ID card, he was asked to use his mobile phone to verify his ID card. He didn't have a cell phone and was very angry because the ID card is a common identification in China. The Xi Jinping government has even greater concerns. If there are indeed duplicate genuine money, it will impact the Chinese financial system. Because the People's Bank of China issues renminbi as part of the monetary base, also known as high-power money, the supply of money in circulation will multiply due to the money multiplier effect. Let's use a simple example to show the multiplier effect. For example, if a commercial bank sends 10% of its deposits to the central bank, that is, a 10% reserve requirement ratio, then the commercial bank can lend $100. When resident A deposits $100 into the commercial bank, the commercial bank gives $10 to the central bank and then loans the remaining $90 to one enterprise. The enterprise then gives 90 to resident A as salary and resident A deposits the money into the commercial bank. The bank then lends 90% of the $90, or $81, to the enterprise, and this rolls on repeatedly, turning the $100 bill into $700 in circulation. The Chinese people are now discussing whether the China Banknote Printing Corporation has printed a duplicate of the real currency.
Dr. Wu, a senior banker in Hong Kong, pointed out that the RMB produced by the national printing system must be real. It's theoretically feasible to have duplicate authentic money. He explained with an example. For example, if I print a trillion out numbered from 1 to 10,000 and then the same machine next to it prints another 1 to 10,000 just for use in a different area, these numbers won't be repeated in the market. Dr. Wu speculated on the vice president's voluntary surrender, saying that it might have been that his rivals had reported him and it was no longer possible to conceal it. Maintaining financial stability has been a top priority for the Xi Jinping administration. In the last two to three months, the Central Commission for Discipline and Inspection, CCDI, has been stationed at China's central bank and other large financial institutions and banks to profile and scrutinize them. This is a direct challenge to the stability of the financial system. The financial system has to be stable. Now Chen Yaoming has to confess. He will definitely mention a number and say, yes, I did it, but only a very little amount. A little amount means that very few genuine banknotes were duplicated and went into circulation. It's not much. That is, his story might be something like, when I tried to do it, I was discovered already, so now I come to surrender. This is how he would tell the story. The Chinese government isn't an accountable government by nature, but rather an arena of power and interests where complicated and bitter intra-party struggles take place. If there is a faction of the Communist Party's elite that serves as the backer and protector, the banknote printing company might just do it, meaning to duplicate the printing of genuine banknotes. The top management of the printing company, such as the chairman and general manager, had been in the same system for more than 20 years, and they all were well versed in the whole system and routine of printing banknotes. That is to say, from the first step to the hundredth step of printing money, as long as all the people in these 100 steps have colluded as their people, this kind of behavior is theoretically feasible. The Xi Jinping government has been vigorously promoting digital RMB for the past two years, starting with a pilot program in four cities, including Shenzhen in 2020, and expanding the program to two first-tier cities, Shanghai and Beijing, in 2021, so it's clear that the CCP is ready to accelerate the full implementation of digital RMB. Digital RMB, in simple terms, is the equivalent of an electronic wallet where people don't need traditional paper bills, but only need to hold a cell phone to make purchase and sale transactions. The push for digital currency by the CCP has multiple purposes and sets a major financial agenda. Here it ties in with the incident of China Banknote Printing Corporation. If digital money is fully implemented, it will be possible to check and identify duplicate printed banknotes. This is probably one of the reasons why the Xi Jinping government is accelerating its efforts to implement digital currency. To the international community, renminbi isn't the world's hard currency, so it won't mess up the world's order. However, Dr. Wu stressed, one of the scariest things is to use a nation's money printing technology and its professional team and knowledge to print another country's currency. World Bank data shows that 50% of the world's 171 currency issuers outsource a portion of their currency to other countries. The Chinese media now proudly exclaims, China is number one in the world in printing money. The report describes that China not only has the technology to print banknotes, but also has everything from plates, paper to ink, eliminating the need to purchase abroad and reducing the cost of printing banknotes. In May 2018, the chairman of China Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation wrote in the Chinese media, Economic Daily, that the company seized the great opportunity brought by the Belt and Road Initiative and successfully won bids for a number of countries such as Thailand, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, India, Brazil, Poland for currency production projects. The South China Morning Post in Hong Kong quoted the article and added that a source at the China National Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation said the contracts may be just the tip of the iceberg and that the actual number of countries that have outsourced or plan to outsource currency printing to China may be even larger. Some governments have asked Beijing not to publicize these outsourcing deals, fearing that such information could jeopardize the security of those countries or stir up unnecessary controversy at home. 
The article, which was reprinted in several international media outlets, caused an uproar in India. India's economic affairs minister later clarified to the media that Indian currency can only be printed by the government of India and the Reserve Bank of India's printing presses, now and in the future. The report, in 2021, also reads, Every day in China, the rumbling of money printing machines in secret money printing factories continues as an assortment of banknotes is shipped from Chinese factories to the rest of the world. If the Chinese Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation had actually printed duplicate bills, I wonder if such news would scare the money printing clients. However, based on the CCP's habit of covering up real information, we don't expect to get a definitive answer to the question of whether there are duplicate, authentic bills in China.